What's up guys? Welcome to the review of the first episode of Season 5 of Lost Girl. Now, this probably won't come out, or won't have come out on the Wednesday. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of stuff going on personally at home for me right now, so I'm trying to get videos out as much as I can. I appreciate the fact that there hasn't been many this week, and I am sorry about that, but obviously I need to be putting my kind of family before my work at the moment, which is a shame, and I am sorry that there hasn't been more regular videos, but until things calm down at home, then you should probably expect there to be not like no videos, but like less videos, and there'll be a day, days at a time where I can't upload anything because I'm not about to do any work because I'm with other family members and things like that. So apologies about that, and I, like I said, this probably won't have been released on Wednesday, but regardless of that, this will go into the um, uh, Wednesday review, I think it's called, let me just check what my thing is right now. Yeah, it will go into the Wednesday review folder, kind of regardless, because it is a review, so it doesn't really matter. Um, <clears throat> so... Last Girl Season 5 has started, the first episode has happened, it's done. I spent a couple of hours afterwards kind of wanting to reevaluate my life and I'm not really sure what to say about it to be honest. Basically everything, if you've watched my previous videos about my predictions for Lost Girl then, and you've, and you've seen this, the, the episode, the first episode, and you'll know that pretty much everything that I predicted to last for the whole season, like the, at least the whole first half of the season, has happened in one episode. Kenzie is back, and that is basically what I thought the whole first half of the season was going to be about, them finding her. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I'm a little bit disappointed that there wasn't kind of a build-up on whether we knew if she was going to come back or not. You know, it's, I mean, I was watching the credits, I've rewatched the episode and I was watching the credits and it said Ksenia Solo was a special guest, so I don't know if she's going to be sticking around for the whole first season, oh, not the whole first season, the whole season. I don't, I don't know what's going on there. So, she's obviously, she's back, basically, Kenzie is back, and as great as that is, I'm super happy that she is back, I'm not really sure, I'm happy about the way they went around it because it was the first episode and she's already back. I was expecting there to be some kind of like emotional build up and some kind of like dramatic cliffhanger at the end of the first half of the uh, season on whether we knew if Kenzie was going to be back or not. So as great as it is that she's back, I, I'm not sure that I'm too keen on the way they've done it because I don't know where that leaves them for the rest of the season unless they're planning on picking up another completely different plot which to be honest it's lost girl they like fucking with our heads that is completely you know likely to happen but I, I don't know I mean there's a lot of things I did like about this episode there was a lot I didn't um, I don't know if they've like properly like CGI'd uh, Anna Silk, like completely in, like straight from the off, with the first scene where she's climbing up the uh, mountain. But she is looking, she's looking a lot younger than before. I was, I was, I was wanting to see Bo as a complete mess because you always see her as this strong character who is trying to save everyone, and Kenzie, her best friend, her sister, her heart, whatever you want to call her, has just died kind of thing. I was wanting them to pick it up right from the end and kind of see Bo break down. I think that, I think it would have been a better story to see her break down and build herself back up again, but I don't, you know, I can't say because I don't know what the rest of the season is going to be about now, seeing as my predictions all happened in one episode, so, you know, I was right, but, you know, it's like, it's one episode. I don't know how I feel about that, but they have. I don't know if they've like properly CGI'd Anna Silk or whatever, but she looks incredible. She looks fantastic. She, I mean, she's gorgeous anyway. But it's like for some reason there is something extra attractive about her this season. I don't know what it is, but I don't know if it's just because they've majorly CGI'd her or whatever. But you know, it's. It is cool, but I, you know, I was expecting to see 
her playing Bo as a bit of a mess, a bit of a mess of a character. So, you know, that's different to what I thought. Um, Dyson and Lauren are doing a lot of teaming up at the moment, and I, I said Bo wouldn't be very happy about Dyson holding her back when Kenzie first died. I think that is kind of like a feeling I'm getting about this season. I mean, it's not as if she's completely blanking them, but it's like she does seem to have hold, like be holding a grudge when she said, I've already been held back from saving her once, I won't let it happen again. So I do think that she is kind of holding a grudge, but it's not anything major, which again is weird. But I don't know if that's something that it has already happened in, you know, the time between season four ending and season five starting. Which again is something that I would have quite liked to see. So, you know, I think a lot's gone on in between the two seasons. It's not like they're starting parallel from each other. Like it's not as if season four's ended and season five has started back up, like with a tiny gap in between. There seems to be like a lot going in between. And you know, considering Tam's in at the end of the last episode of season four was like adamant that she wasn't gonna let Bo find the hell shoe, the second one, for her to just find it like five minutes into the episode was a bit anticlimactic because again I thought that was gonna be something that was gonna be quite strong in the story where they had Bo trying to find it and Tamsin trying to stop her. So, you know, I I have no idea where they're gonna be taking this season anymore. I seem to have just predicted the first episode, which to be honest, I should have guessed because it's Lost Girl and they like to fuck with our heads. So I should have guessed that, but I can't quite get my head around what they're gonna be able to do to develop it in this season. So, you know, it's weird. I mean, Dyson is obviously just there. Lauren has just like had some Valkyrie power thing bestowed on her because of I don't know what. One of them two, it's got to be one of them two, but one of them two is going to be replacing Kenzie. And I really fucking hope it's Lauren because after her comment to Tamsin about her not sacrificing anything like she's the queen of sacrificing things for Bo, I flipped my shit so hard. I was like, I'm not being funny, Lauren. You locked Bo up in a cage, didn't believe her, broke her heart and broke up with her, which is not a bad thing because I hated her together anyway, them together anyway. They broke her, she broke her heart, she fucking abandoned her, she lied about who she was, you know? It's just kind of, you're really going to say that to Tamsin and if you, if you list off the things that Tamsin has done for Bo, she completely disregarded her mission to the Wanderer, she refused to hand her in to the Morrigan, she went against all of her sisters in Valhalla as a Valkyrie, she went up against Maximo, she helped her in Brazenwood, she helped her at Taft, she let she let her feed off of her chi when she didn't really want to or she couldn't because she was dying, she, got t she took a bullet for her, she let Krampus take her instead of Bo in the Yule episode, what else was there? Oh yeah, that really, really, really big one where she, you know, drove her truck off a cliff and died. You know, if that's not sacrifice for someone, I don't know what is. I mean, yeah, Tamsin might not be so open about it, but it's not as if it's fucking hard to see that she has been sacrificing herself right from the get-go just for Bo. It's not, it's not fucking difficult to see. You know, I can't, I don't understand how they managed to write Lauren in as this character in this season who seems to be like, queen of sacrifice, I'll do anything for everyone. She fucking won't. She just won't. I mean, yeah, she has sacrificed some things, but her non-sacrificial ways far outweigh the things that she has sacrificed. And with Tamsin, it is completely the other way around. I mean, she goes to Valhalla in this episode, which, to be honest, I... I don't know how I feel about where they've set Valhalla. It's a fucking hotel. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I get it's supposed to be like a five-star kind of dream place, 
and I expect I expect there is more of it, and this is just where they're kind of keeping souls for like as a base or whatever. So I, I expect there probably is more, but you know it was just weird to see it as a hotel. But you know, regardless of that, um, she goes off to Valhalla and kind of gets her crazy eyes on. And I loved the shining reference from uh, with the here's Tammy bit. I loved that. I thought that was hilarious. I was kind of, that was one of the moments where I was watching it kind of in shock because Tam's in a gone all crazy and then in hysterics because she'd like pulled a shining on everyone and then in shock again because Tamsin was still crazy and I was like she's trying to kill Bo and Kenzie and Kenzie's already dead so I don't really know how that's going to work but I think she was trying to deliver Bo to whoever this mysterious person is because apparently it's not the Wanderer anymore now there's a lot of speculation going around that it could be Odin that is Bo's father. So if that's true, then there's a very strong chance that it could be kind of like Bo's, Bo's family versus Tamsin's Valkyrie family. Because obviously she's got uh, Freya and she's like Queen of the Valkyries. And I thought they were going to kiss, and I was screaming at the telly. I was like, that's not, that can't happen. You can't have her falling in love with anyone else. And, you know, it's pretty obvious now that the first episode has been kind of aired. There was a lot of kind of like Valkyrie's progression, which was really nice to see. And, you know, it was straight from the off. I mean, there's, there's this kind of like typical what seems like tradition where Valkyrie doesn't happen fully until se till episode 8 of their season. But I don't think we're going to have to wait that long. If, if something happens, I think it's going to happen pretty soon. I mean, we know Tamsin falls in love with someone, and we know Tamsin, well, we know Tamsin has a, has a kind of, kind of relationship, I expect it will be this season. We know there is another contender for Bo's heart, and we know it might be someone we already know. So. The evidence stacking up that it's Tamsin is there, especially after her kind of, this is my last life, I don't want to live it without you kind of speech to Bo. You know, I think it's like, if I think it, they're setting it up to happen and, you know, it's been slow progression with those two for the first two seasons that Rachel Scarston has been playing Tamsin. So I, I do appreciate the fact that they are kind of getting straight to the point with it that it could happen and it's likely to happen right from the first episode and there seems to be like minimal interaction between Bo with Lauren and or Dyson so I don't I don't know I don't know I mean there was a lot like I said there was a lot of good about this episode there was a lot kind of that I didn't agree with there was a lot that I was just kind of what the fucking I think that was the most emotionally challenging episode that I have seen, bar Kenzie's death scene. I mean, I don't know what's going on with Hale. I don't, I, I can't see him being back because he was gone for quite, like, he was gone for a period of time between, like, the end of season four and season five. He was gone, like, before the end of season four, like, a few episodes before it. So I don't, I can't see him coming back. I think he'll be hinted at. I think he'll be strongly hinted at, and there might be flashbacks, maybe? But I can't see him coming back as a full-on character, especially now that Kenzie is back and has been buried alive. And luckily, you know, Dyson and Lauren do figure it out that Kenzie is back, and they are going to have to. Hopefully, they'll get to her on time because she's like buried in her grave um, with like kind of no way of getting out. So hopefully, they'll get to her on time. And Bo's obviously been transported to the underworld where we will probably in the next episode finally meet her father now I, I'm saying probably in the next episode because the way they're setting up this season is it's gonna be one episode that's in two parts and that's how it's gonna be such a long episode so we'll get if there's um, 18 episodes I think there was I think there's 18 episodes like for the whole season is it 18? no it's 16 no it's 16, 8 per 8 per I think so I think that's right, I don't know because I heard someone say it was like 
13 or whatever, but I don't think that's right. But I think it's 18, and there's going to be six, six kind of as a weekly episode, but each episode is going to be kind of like in two parts. So technically, it's three episodes in two parts, if that makes sense. It'll be this one is Living Hell part one and two, and then it'll be the next one part one and two, and then the next one part one and two. And then the next one, part one and two, so that'd be the eight. And then they'll cut, and then they'll do part one and two again for the next half of the season, which will be after I think a nine month wait. But I don't know. I don't know. I, th- I think that's how they're playing it out, and I think that's why I think we'll see Bo's father at the end of this one. And then you know. I think I'll say the the uh, in the uh, next episode because after that I think they'll be leaving whatever hell they're in, whether that's Valhalla or actually hell. So I think they'll probably be leaving that where it is, and you know I think there will still be influence from Bo's father for the rest of the season, but I, with regards to where the story is going to go, I think it's probably going to be about why it's only Bo that can wear both the hell shoes and kind of get away with it and kind of use the power for them. So obviously there's some kind of godly power behind it and that wouldn't be the Wanderer. That was, I think that was Raynor, wasn't it? So it's not him. But I don't, I don't know. It confu- it's, conf- it's confused me. Not only has it set my fields to maximum, it has confused me. And you know, as much as you could, you know, as much as Lost Girl is a kind of show where you don't really know what's going on the majority of the time, anyway, there's always some kind of solid plot line where you can figure out what's going on. And this season, that I, I can't, I can't really grasp onto anything solid plot line wise at the moment because everything that I personally think should have happened in the first half of these seasons has happened already and that means they've got 17 more episodes where they're gonna have to kind of they must have a new plot line coming around which is annoying because it's the last one and you know they haven't finished wrapping up the plot line from season four yet you know this whole wanderer how you kind of Bo's father getting Kenzie out that whole thing is a follow-on from season four. You know, they haven't wrapped up season four yet. Not completely. I mean, as far as episode goes, they have, but as far as story goes, it's continued on. And I don't know if that, I don't know if that means they're gonna add more to the story of what happened in, what started to develop in season four, or they're gonna have a completely new plot. I don't, I don't know. But I mean, I think they'll try and link it in, but it will be, from a different view, it'll be from a different, won't be from a different person's perspective, but it will be a different element of whatever it is they're trying to kind of display. I don't, I don't really know. I honestly don't know. But you know, that's Lost School for you, and it likes to do that to us. It likes to make us think we know, and then very, very bluntly tell us, "No, you're fucking wrong." It likes to do that to us. My only hope in this season is that Belcubus may happen and it may become canon. I think that is actually a possibility now. That's quite a big possibility. I'm really glad Kenzie's back because I didn't want Townsend to become Bo's kind of sidekick Kenzie kind of replacement because that would have just screwed it up for everyone. So that's a good reason that Kenzie is back but I still think it's way too soon. And I think it. I don't think there was enough build-up. I don't think there was enough kind of drama behind it. And as much as I love Ksenia Solo playing Kenzie, I think she's a fantastic actor. I think Kenzie is probably one of the best characters in the show. As much as I love that, I was expecting something different. And you know, it's not a bad thing. It was disappointing for me because I had kind of a vision of how I thought it was going to go, and I thought I'd kind of worked out what kind of path they were going to take. So for them to completely go, nope, that's wrong, fuck you, and all your your ideas, that was completely like, oh, okay. 
but you know that that's how it goes with this TV show. I should have I should have known. I was just going to be completely wrong and have my heart broken. I should have known. But it's not so much kind of a like it's not so much kind of a I don't know how to just how to explain this. It's not that it's bad. It's just there wasn't enough of something. I it wasn't enough emotion. There wasn't enough build up. And I think that was probably what went on between season four ending and season five starting. I think that's probably what we've missed in the meanwhile between the two seasons. But I don't think Bo should have found that second shoe so quickly. I don't think I don't think that's right. So, seeing as Tamsin made such a big deal about her not wanting to find it, I don't think they should have found it that quickly. I think that sh I'd. I just, I don't get it. I don't understand it. So, for what it's worth, I think the episode was fantastic. And I think if they can pull off whatever it is they're trying to pull off, it's going to be a fantastic season. I think it's going to be the best season out of, like, the whole series. I think it is going to be the best one. If they can pull off whatever it is they're trying to do. Because, obviously, they are trying to wrap up whatever was going on in season four fairly quickly and you know I don't know I'm hoping there's not going to be too many new characters because with Raina it was kind of he was there and then he was gone and people people didn't like him because they didn't have a chance to get to know him and I'm one of them people you know it wasn't until kind of like the end of the like when he was gone that he kind of figured out that maybe he wasn't such a bad guy but I don't I don't know it's I don't want them to bring in a load of new characters that we have to get to know to like. I don't want there to be any contenders for Bo that we don't already know. Because not just because of Valkybus, but because it would just be too much to add on to the story for a season for a TV show that is ending. And I don't want there to be too much more that we need to have to take in to understand this season, which I think is possibly what might go wrong if they're kind of wrapping up whatever was going on in season four and starting with a brand new kind of story slate. Even if it is related, it is still kind of like a brand new story. So I don't I don't really know. It's gonna be a good season. I can appreciate that it's gonna be a good season. I think I was just kind of like I would I keep saying I'm disappointed. I wasn't so much disappointed. I was just kind of shocked at how quickly everything progressed. And I was kind of shocked they didn't show Bo in her kind of quest for the shoot because they made such a big deal about it last season and I'm shocked that they brought Kenzie back so quickly. So maybe it isn't so much disappointment, it is shock and a lot of it. So yeah, let me know what you thought about this episode, if you have watched it, I should have probably said this at the beginning but spoiler alert to anyone in the UK that hasn't watched it, I'm watching this US time so this is kind of like, I don't want you to watch this and shout at me just because if you haven't watched it yet, but I will put spoiler alert in the title, maybe. <laughs> but I have warned you before. So, if you have seen the episode from Canada land or America land or England or wherever else in the world you are from and you've seen the episode because the live stream I was watching it on, there was like 300 people all from all over the world on um, Faith Apocalypse's live stream, which I want to give her a shout out because that's fucking awesome and thank you for that because I was like panicking that I was going to have to stay up till like 5 o'clock by the time the episode finished and I would managed to get like, like the episode started at like 2 in the morning in the UK and then it would have finished at about 3 and then we would have had to wait for a download, then get the download or a stream or whatever and then watch it which is going to be another hour so I was kind of like panicking that I wasn't going to get to sleep till 5am so Tumblr, Fakepocalypse, thank you ever so much, thank you, you are the best for streaming that for us, and I'm pretty sure um, I'm going to be joining you and the rest of uh, the Lost Girl fans for the rest of the season, I'll make sure I put a donation into your uh, tiny chat as well, so that would be, that'd be my input into your little kind of streaming thing that you're doing, which is fantastic, it's, it's saved my night, and I'm pretty sure it's probably saved a few other people, so thank you for that. And so if you haven't seen it, make sure you watch it, you know, there's loads and loads and loads of streams and downloads now, but if you do want to wait till the UK, because it's out in the UK, obviously, 
don't shout with me for putting my my views forward so far because I am far too obsessed with this TV show not to watch it like can, uh, Canadian Times. So that's pretty much it. If you have seen it, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of my views. Um, let me know what you think about the character development between uh, everyone that's going on so far. And let me know where you think the story is going to be going for the rest of the season, seeing as kind of everything that we, ev like, majority of people thought was going to happen has already happened. Let me know your thoughts. I want to hear them all and we'll have a big old discussion. That's going to be it from me today. Apologies for this video, again, isn't going to be up on a Wednesday. I just, I've got so much going on right now. I've got my uni work, I've got my game that I'm starting to make, I've started to make my first game, uh, I've got the obviously the channel and I've got a lot of personal stuff going on at home. So with all that piling up it's going to be a bit tough to keep the YouTube channel kind of constant for a couple of weeks. Um, I am going to try and get as many many videos out as I can, uh, walkthroughs might suffer a little bit but I'm going to try and do as much as I can to review Lost Girl every single week and I will try and get as many walkthroughs up as I can. But um, I'm gonna, I might start doing like little videos. I'll make sure I do a Christmas special. So I, I promised you a Christmas special, so I will do a Christmas special. Um, but we'll have to see what happens with regards to the rest of the videos for the rest of the year. If there is anything else you wanted to discuss or play, then you know, do send your requests through, and we will, you know, we'll try and get through them as as we can and as many as possible. We'll, we'll get through them all, I'm sure. But it will just take a little bit of time, um, and it will be kind of like. Um, as and when we can instead of kind of like having a constant amount of time to work on the channel we haven't really got that at the moment um, so yeah let me know what you think comment review whatever you want to do to this video you go ahead and do it spoiler alert I know it's late but spoiler alert season 5 episode 1 of Lost Girl I'll put that in the title and until the next time you hear from me guys stay classy gamers Thank you.